So these are the parts um, for the water pump that I made mostly out of garbage. Now for a simple piston pump like this, um, you have a piston, you have a cylinder, and then you have two one-way valves. Um, when you pull up the piston, water will be sucked in, but you only want it to be sucked in on one side. And when you push the water out, you only want it to push out on one side. So the two one-way valves make sure that water flows through the pump and doesn't just get sucked in from both sides and pushed out both ways, because then you won't actually move the water in any direction. So this is a major part of this pump. These are homemade one-way valves. Um, and the way this works is a ball valve. So this ball slides back and forth. Now on one way, when it sits against that seat there, which is actually made from uh, a flip-flop I found, it's a flip-flop with a hole in it, when it sits against that seat, it plugs the hole. Now when it comes back, it sits against this grate, which is made from a pop can, and then, so this way it can flow through, and then this way it can't flow through. And the current um, pulls the ball to one side or the other, and these are all the parts. So you glue the flip-flop into this uh, small pipe. Then you have a plasticine ball that I made, and I only made two tiny balls. Now, I was looking for like marbles or very, something very specific with the exact right diameter so that water can go past it, but it can also plug a hole. And then my girlfriend suggests plasticine. Now, with this small thing of plasticine, which was 50 cents, I could probably make a couple hundred of those. Um, and here it's just from a pop can. Just cut out a thin X, and it actually goes over between the metal pipe here, and, and then it gets inserted there, so it's held in place. This piece is the piston. This is made from a broomstick, again, that I found in the garbage. I cut this broomstick. Um, I put these little guides. This is all flip-flop that I found in the garbage. So I cut a flip-flop the exact diameter of the inside. Actually, it needs to be compressed a little bit to fit in there stuff. Then there's a washer on both sides and a screw that screws into the wood that pushes it out so it creates a tight seal. Now, I also put Vaseline on here just so it has a better slide and a better seal. Piston's made from one and a quarter inch PVC pipe that I found. It's a uh, schedule 40. I cut that and I have to glue on. This actually I have to buy. One of the few pieces I have to buy is a cap here. And I drilled in both ends and then with epoxy I put on two fittings for the uh, water to flow in and out. So that's it. That's the pump. And this cost me somewhere about 50 cents to a dollar to build this pump. And if I really tried, I probably could make it all out of garbage. So this is, I'm thinking that in uh, developing countries where you need to get water out of the ground or out of a well or pump from the ocean or something, you could make this out of garbage for very, very little money. All you have to do is go into these countries and show them how to do it and try and motivate people to um, build things and, and uh, improve their own living situation. All right, this is my setup uh, for testing. We have the pump, and then there's two different um, two-liter pop bottles. We're going to pump water from one pop bottle into the other. And we have our valve here, our intake, where it goes against this wall, and then this is where push out into that pop bottle. So I just need to take my toe here. It's kind of tricky when you're filming. But when I pull back here, that one sits against that seat so that it doesn't suck from where I'm trying to pump, and then it sucks from this side at the gate. Just pull this back, and then when I push it, it switches. I don't push back into there, but I push into this, and it works great. It pumps a lot. It's a little bit of air in it right now, but you can really see how it fills up. Pop it all the way and I got it to squirt out the little air hole there. Whoa! <laughs> and actually pretty wet. But that's the nice pressure. That's coming from this pump now. I'm slowly moving my hand down and I have that spraying out.